Hello everybody, welcome to another horn lesson. Today I'm going to be showing you how to improve your high range. The first thing that I can tell you about improving your high range is that you cannot cheat around it. You need to have a lot of facial muscles. You need to know what to do with your tongue. It also matters of what kind of mouthpiece are you using. Let's go through all of these one by one. First thing, facial muscles. The best exercise to grow your facial muscles are long notes. I have heard some interesting quotes from my brass colleagues. If you can't play more than one note, then do long notes. Oh yeah, this one. Horn players are too stupid to play more than one note at a time. I don't really agree with this. I think long notes are a very good way of growing your facial muscles and developing your sound quality. The first exercise starts the note in a medium dynamic, make a crescendo, then a diminuendo, and hold the note quietly until you run out of air. When you're going through all of these dynamics, you will have to use your muscles in quite a different way. The lips have to be quite close together, the corners have to be tight. You can also stop mid-note and adjust the position of the mouthpiece or the lips if it's necessary. In general, it does have to feel quite comfortable. At first, of course, it will not be so, and you need to practice for a couple of weeks. Make sure you also take enough rest in between the practice sessions, and if you play too much, take a day off and then continue later. Long notes are a pretty heavy exercise. You don't need to do it very much. I would recommend that you start the long notes in medium range, go as high as you can. Then there's two options. You can play long notes from medium range lower, or you can do flexibility exercises in the low range. The next exercise is flexibility exercise in a range of a third. This is a very good way to open up your high notes one by one. Also here, make sure that the lips are close together, the corners are tight. When you're playing the exercise, think in your head A ah, on the lowest note and E on the highest. The next exercise is an extended version of the previous one in the range of a fifth. This last one is a power exercise. I do not recommend you do this before you feel quite comfortable in playing the high notes. This is a very heavy exercise and also could be dangerous if you do it the wrong way. The resistance when you're playing loudly is a lot more than playing in a, in a softer dynamic. It might also be necessary for you to push the jaw a little bit forward on a high notes. Remember what your muscles were doing when you were playing the long notes. Same thing here. Just push more air through. If it feels uncomfortable, don't go higher. After this exercise, also do a little bit of flexibility in the low range.
The mouthpiece also makes quite a big difference when playing high. In general, if you have a mouthpiece with a shallow cup and a narrow bore, it will definitely help you to play high, but the sound will be quite narrow and thin. That is why I would recommend using a medium cup with a medium bore. In my mind, this is the best option, because in practice you will have to play loudly and also quietly in the high range. Thank you for watching, I hope my tips will help you. Keep practicing even through these very hard times. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to be the first to know when a new video is released. Have a good day.